I team, two suspects in Madison Brooks rape case bond out of prison. Bond hearings are underway Tuesday, January 24, for three men who investigators say participated in or witnessed a sexual encounter with an LSU student. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. WAFB, two of the men accused of participating in or witnessing a sexual encounter involving an LSU student before her death bonded out of prison, according to records from the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office. Everett Lee, 28, and Casson Carver, 18, bonded out of jail on Tuesday, January 24, according to their attorneys. The men appeared before 19th Judicial District Judge Brad Myers earlier that day to determine their pretrial bond amounts. Lee's bond was set at $75,000, and Carver's bond was set at $50,000, records show. Kayvon DeAndre Washington, 18, who was given a $150,000 bond, remains in jail, records show. The underage suspect, who was arrested and charged with rape for allegedly having sex with a student, had his pretrial bond hearing pushed back to February. Related, deputies arrest for an LSU student Madison Brooks case. Investigators publicly identified the student as Madison Brooks. Arrest documents say Brooks left a bar near LSU's campus with the three men and another 17-year-old male. Brooks was standing in a dark portion of Burbank Drive near Pelican Lakes Parkway around 3 a.m. on January 15 when she was struck by a vehicle driven by a rideshare driver, they say. Brooks later died at a hospital. Kayvon DeAndre Washington Kayvon DeAndre Washington, 18, was charged with third-degree rape. Investigators say Washington and the underage teen took turns having sex with Brooks in the backseat of the vehicle. Myers set Washington's bond at $150,000. He will be required to report to the drug lab to be tested randomly for 180 days, and he must be placed on home confinement except to go to work or meet with his attorney. He must also have an ankle monitor from CTS, and he must not contact the victim's family. He also cannot post about the case on social media. Everett Lee Investigators charged Everett Lee, 28, of Pine Grove, with principal to third-degree rape. Lee was riding in the passenger seat of the car as other men had sex with the student in the backseat, his arrest record state. Myers set pretrial bond in the amount of $75,000 for Lee. He will be required to report to the drug lab to be tested randomly for 180 days, and he must be placed on home confinement except to go to work or meet with his attorney. He must also have an ankle monitor from DTS, and he must not contact the victim's family. He also cannot post about the case on social media. Casson Carver Casson Carver, 18, of Denham Springs, was also charged with principal to third-degree rape. Investigators say Carver was in the driver's seat of the car as other men had sex with a student in the backseat, his arrest record state. Myers set Carver's bond at $50,000. He will be required to report to the drug lab to be tested randomly for 180 days, and he must be placed on home confinement except to go to work or meet with his attorney. He must also have an ankle monitor from CTS, and he must not contact the victim's family. He also cannot post about the case on social media. State law says a third-degree rape charge generally involves a victim who is incapable of resisting or of understanding the nature of the act by reason of a stupor or abnormal condition of mind produced by an intoxicating agent or any cause and the offender knew or should have known of the victim's incapacity. The principle to rape charge means the suspect was present but did not take part in the alleged crime. Whether or not Brooks consented to the sexual encounter depends on who's asked. Investigators say Carver admitted the men witnessed Brooks consume alcohol and observed her unable to walk or speak normally. Carver told investigators he believed Brooks was too drunk to know that she was consenting to sex and he hated it, the warrant states. Attorneys representing the men say video taken during the incident shows Madison Brooks was in a coherent state and can be used to prove the encounter was consensual.